Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affairs series uh, in which what we do, we daily discuss current affairs, uh, uh, current affair MCQs and these MCQ are, MCQs are based upon the current affairs of the day. So today is 3rd uh, October. So let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is consider the following articles. Article 14, Article 15, Article 17, Article 338 uh, and uh, Article 4. So we have to choose that which of the above article is are providing rights to the scheduled castes. So we have to choose the answer. Let me tell you friends that the answer is C that is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, uh, one is uh, article 14 is uh, right to equality and uh, that is uh, uh, equality before law and equal protection of law. And then uh, article 2 is no discrimination on the basis of caste, creed, sex, place of birth, religion. And then uh, uh, third is article 17 that is uh, abolition of untouchability. And then article 338 provides for the national commission for scheduled castes, a constitutional state. So the answer is C. So reference uh, can be seen in Indian polity by Lakshmi Khan and uh, sources basically from the Hindu. Uh, basically uh, this question has been framed uh, in the context of recently uh, Supreme Court reviewing, reviewing, uh, reviewing its uh, judgment that was given in 2018 on SCST Act. Second is Bandikoot seen in news is related to A. Scavenging robot B. Decomposable plastic C. Medical aid D. None of the above let me tell you friends that the answer is A that is scavenging robot so it is about uh, basically according to officials the robot named Bandikoot has been introduced at a cost of uh, rupees 18 lakh rupees uh, so Tamil Nadu minister Kadamba uh, Raju inaugurated the operation of the robot which would end depth of workers engaged in sphere cleaning so basically it is uh, uh, it is uh, it has been introduced to provide manual scavenging so due to which uh, much of the deaths take place so Bandikoot with its motto changing manhole to rope hole is a human controlled robot and it is brainchild of gen robotics of Rivandrum based startup which was founded in 2015. So as a peer opposed to the sewer suction machines that only suck the liquid waste from the sewer, Bandikoot has the ability to reach deep down the drainage and remove the solid waste hence unblocking the sewage. So it has a uh, uh, shovel and a jet pipe attached to it which makes it better equipped to clean the sewage along with a camera with the, that can aid in inspecting the manhole for any, any blockages. So Bandigood can finish the work of 5 people in lesser time with better efficiency and is available in both automatic and semi-automatic modes. So let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to a Yushman Bharat scheme. First, the scheme was launched based on National Health Policy 2017 to achieve universal health coverage. Second, it provides cover of, uh, of uh, 5 lakh uh, per family per year for secondary and tertiary care hosp uh, hospitalization only across private impaneled hospitals. So which of the above statements is correct? We have to choose that. Uh, so let me tell you friends that only uh, one uh, uh, statement is correct and that is uh, uh, first, first, first statement because uh, uh, this 5 lakh uh, 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 amount of 5 lakh per family is available uh, across uh, public as well as private and panelled hospitals. So yes, it, uh, it was introduced uh, in, on the basis of uh, that national health policy uh, 2017 to achieve universal health coverage. So, Arogya Manthan event was recently organized by National Health Authority to mark the completion of one year of Yushman Bharat, that is Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. So, purpose is to basically uh, to provide a platform uh, to meet for all the important stakeholders of PM Jan, uh, Jan Arogya Yojana to meet and discuss the challenges faced in the implementation of the scheme in the past uh, year and to forge new understanding and pathways to improving implementation. So about uh, Yushman Bharat, so it was uh, recommended by National Health Policy to achieve the vision of universal health coverage. So this initiative has been designed on the lines to meet uh, 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 your sustainable development goals uh, and its underlying uh, commitment which is leave no one behind. So uh, it includes the ongoing centrally sponsored schemes that is Senior Citizen Health Insurance Scheme and Rastri Swasthya Bhima Yojana. So it is a continuance of care approach. 
so key features are world's largest health insurance assurance scheme financed by the government 5 lakh uh, families uh, 5 lakh per family per year for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization across public and private impanelled hospitals so around uh, uh, 10.7 crore poor and vulnerable entitled families that is approximately 50 crore beneficiaries are eligible for this benefit so it provides cashless access to health services for the beneficiaries at the point of the service more details are here you can pause the video and can check the details so it will obviously consume a lot of time if uh, we focused upon it so now let's uh, move on to the next question next next is digi sky seen in news is related to a book air ticket using a dhar card b registered drones for flying uh, c to get pilot license uh, d none of the above so we have to choose the which of the uh, options is correct let me tell you friends that the, the option that is correct is basically registered drones for flying so no permission no take off is a software program that enables every remotely piloted uh, aircraft system except nano to obtain a valid permission through the digi sky platform before operating in india so regional equipment manufacturers are to comply with this requirement so it is a portal for registration and flying of civil drones in india so it is to basically create a digital pro paperless process thus providing on demand seamless permissions for uas rpas operators and pilots so uh, this rpas are embedded with an uh, encrypted firmware by the manufacturer to receive permissions through digi sky each time before take off so more details are here you can check it and uh, let's move on to the next question next is advanced pricing agreement seen in news is related to a remunerated price for farm produce b income tax related c msme public procurement related d none of the above so friends this has been related to this is related to income tax uh, uh, income tax so basically advanced pricing agreement uh, uh, this uh, cbdt uh, 300th uh, advanced pricing agreement so it is currently in its 7th year so it is an agreement between a tax payer and the tax authority determining the pr transfer pricing methodology for pricing the tax payers international transactions for future years so what earlier the companies used to do but uh, they they uh, the, what they used to do they uh, used to transfer uh, if for example a subsidiary company is in india uh, it used to transfer uh, the amount to its parent companies uh, say for example profit and under the gap that it is uh, paying for certain services but uh, it uh, the the uh, the, uh, the service uh, was not what was not uh, uh, or the equipment that uh, that was imported by that subsidiary company was not of that value so in that way uh, the the tax uh, tax revenue uh, tax was evaded so now this advanced pricing agreement uh, uh, it determines the transfer pricing methodology in advance uh, so uh, it provides certainty with respect to the tax tax outcome of the tax payers international transactions so it has a statutory uh, basis that is finance act 2012 inserted sections 9, uh, 92 cc and 92 cd in the uh, this uh, income tax act to provide the legal basis for apa in india so it can be uh, of the three types unilateral bilateral and uh, multilateral so unilateral is uh, it involves the taxpayer of a particular country and the tax authority of the country where the taxpayer is located so bilateral uh, agreement is between uh, basically involves the taxpayer associated enterprise of the taxpayer in the foreign country tax authority of the country where the taxpayer is located and the foreign tax authority so multilateral is uh, expand your and uh, expand the scope beyond uh, bilateral then it becomes multilateral now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements related to repurpose used cooking oil ruko first it was used uh, it was launched by food safety and uh, uh, standards authority of india second the initiative will enable collection and conversion of all the non edible oil to biodiesel so which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first it was launched by food safety and uh, standards authority of india so this is basically it is an initiative of converting use, used cooking oil to biodiesel so uh, pub, uh, publicity is done so concerns associated with consumption of used cooking oil is that total total polar compounds are high in your uh, uh, used cooking oil uh, and uh, uh, this this also introduces toxicity and uh, so there are several diseases that are associated that is hypertension atro uh, sclerosis uh, and then alzheimer's disease liver diseases so uh, this what are total polar compounds they are basically uh, they uh, every time when oil is reheated they increase 
so its accumulation in food uh, without uh, in, in oil without food is uh, so, uh, slower than that in oil frying with food so uh, in uh, in in a food which, is, which that that doesn't have oil uh, its accumulation will not be that much but it will increase uh, uh, b uh, once it is it is being uh, fried in the oil so it was launched by uh, food safety and standards authority of india so as to enable re uh, collection and conversion of used cooking oil to biodiesel so it it wants businesses that uh, that use more than 100 liters of oil for frying to maintain a stock register and ensure that uco is uh, handed over to only registered collecting agencies so there is a uh, kind of, we can say a minimum uh, threshold uh, above which only above which the company has to or uh, or, uh, or uh, we can say a person or uh, enterprise has to uh, uh, give this uh, give this uh, hand over this uh, used cooking oil to the registered collecting authority so let's move to the next question next is atal innovation mission is implemented by a ministry of human resources b niti ayog c ministry of skill development d none of the above let me tell you friends that the answer is niti ayog so atal innovation mission is basically to promote innovation uh, so it uh, uh, it is the government of india's flagship uh, initiative to promote a culture of inno innovation and entrepreneurship in the country so it is mandated to create an umbrella structure to uh, oversee uh, your innovation uh, uh, ecosystem and revolutionizing the innovation ecosystem touching upon the entire innovation life cycle through various programs so atal innovation mission has uh, two core function functions that is to promote self employment and talent utilization and then innovation promotion now let's move to the next question next is d28 iceberg seen in news is related to a antarctica's broken off iceberg b moon south pole iceberg uh, c alcoholic drink d none of the above so we have to choose that which of the uh, options is correct let me tell you friends uh, that uh, the statement that is correct is a that is it is antarctica's uh, broken off iceberg so a uh, more than uh, 1500 square kilometer uh, uh, d28 iceberg recently broke off antarctica so it is about 2 210 meters thick and contains 3 15 billion tons of ice so the east of antarctica where d28 broke off is different from the west of the continent and greenland which are rapidly warming due to climate change so this is the cause of major concern so you can see uh, that uh, this antarctica is there so uh, uh, this uh, this uh, d28 iceberg has been separated Uh, from uh, from the main uh, we can say mainland ice so uh, that is a major cause of concern because it it shows the effects of the global warming that are taking place basically due to the emission of greenhouse gases so now let's move on to the next next question next is consider the following statements related to national council for promotion of urdu language first it is a statutory body to promote develop and propagate urdu language second it is under the ministry of home affairs so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are incorrect so uh, national council for promotion of urdu language is basically an autonomous body under the ministry of human resource development De uh, department of uh, sorry uh, uh, let me tell you yeah so it is not in the ministry of home affairs but rather it is uh, under uh, ministry of human resource development department of secondary and higher education so it was set up to promote develop and propagate urdu language council started its operations in delhi on april 1 1996 so it is a nodal agency for the promotion of urdu language now let's move to the next question next is generation unlimited seen in news is an initiative uh, related to uh, a unicef b world bank c world economic forum d none of the above let me tell you friends that the answer is unicef so generation Unlim unlimited is uh, basically program of uh, unicef it is a unicef led global partnership to ensure that every young person uh, between the age of 10 to 24 is in some form of school learning training self employment or age appropriate uh, employment by 2030 so and also to it aims to co create and scale up proven solutions related to secondary ed education skills for training and employment and your Uh, uh, decent work and empowerment with a focus on uh, uh, girls so friends this is all about today's discussion about uh, the mcqs that are uh, that are there for third uh, third october so if you like these questions if you like the video then do ensure that you like our channel and uh, like our video do ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends uh, if you want to remain in touch with various initiatives that are run by us 
then you can join our public telegram channel where we have more than 12,000 subscribers we have close to 13,000 subscribers so you are more than welcome to join this telegram channel so that you people can remain updated about various initiatives that are run by us uh, for the purpose of civil services preparation from time to time so uh, in case of any queries in case of any doubts you can contact us at achieveis21 at gmail.com you can also uh, contact us at uh, 8968920720 so the link of the telegram channel will be there in the description box and uh, lastly if you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these mcqs then do ensure that you contact us or uh, the link for subscription is there in the uh, description box so if you wish to get the pdfs of these mcqs uh, you can check the description box and can check the subscription link so obviously we have kept a minimum fee of rupees 99 for the purpose of subscription and that has been kept uh, uh, for the purpose of our motivation so that we people can remain motivated to help you people so in case you are interested then do ensure that you check the description box and lastly friends you can also visit our website that is www.achieveias.co.in so uh, on this uh, website we keep on update keep on updating our uh, various initiatives that we run so you can visit our website and can have a look at all the initiatives and all other important information relating to csc preparation so this is all about today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead